Welcome, Libra Singles. This is your Meet the Soulmate read using the Gilded Terra Royale deck today. And this is for mid November time frame. It goes out on the 4th. This is the Scorpio New Moon, 12 degrees Scorpio. Uh, big deal. We probably, where we're all kind of reaching in. Uh, it's on my Venus, on my Venus and Scorpio. Uh, Libra's my second house, empty. Uh, but Venus is a ruler of the second, is, uh, well, it has a lot of power for me. And uh, the third house conjunct Neptune. So, this is a predictive read. It's meant to read so someone that's coming in the future, not to be someone around you. That would be more. Um, the heart spread read, which you also put up on Thursdays, it's always Libra, Scorpio Day. You also have the Soul Family read today. I did a reading on the Moon card and on the New Moon today in Scorpio, just kind of talking about that, what that might be about, with a collective read for whoever resonates. The Soul Family read, more personal reading about manifestation and spirituality. This one, we're just looking at your person. Who are they? What are they like? This is in the emotional position. The Empress will pull two cards for the emotional position. And the Six of Swords. Wow. So a Taurus moon is strong. In, uh, I also look at the intellectual, the sexual, essentially, and the lifestyle areas of their life. We'll get two cards. But right out of the bat, I tend to see the moon here. I tend to see the childhood here. Um, maybe get a story here, some personal history. But Taurus, moon, you know, the moon is exalted there. Um, This is someone that probably, um, they're traditional, uh, not not to be confused with conservative. This is traditional. Um, and, you know, someone that likes nice things, they, they, they really, uh, the moon is what we need to feel secure and safe. And what they need to feel secure and safe is really nice things, pleasant surroundings, pleasant energy. You know, this person doesn't do well any kind of darkness. So I'll tell you right out of the shoot with the Empress here being so powerful, um, they're, this person already, they're not likely to put themselves in situations in life where they're dealing with the Jerry Springer underground stuff. And Scorpio, to be clear, New Moon here uh, today at 12 degrees uh, doesn't have to be dark. But for them, it kind of is. However, it worked for them. In childhood, um, they had to move around a lot. Um, they may have lacked uh, physical security. And remember, something about Taurus Moon, not, not to disparage it at all. Again, it's exalted there. Um, they tend to be balanced uh, emotionally. They're, they're not going to flip-flop around. And, you know, whatever they feel, that's what they feel. So, uh, solid like that, too. But they were in a family where they had to move around and it wasn't real secure. Uh, something in the third house in their chart possibly. Maybe the moon's in their third house. It's kind of like a little Gemini moon and that's uh, not good energy for the moon. Uh, so yeah, maybe put it in the third house. Mm, let's see. Now we got the five of wands. And we got the devil card. This is in the intellectual position. Remember, it's not triggery read. Uh, if we see the three of swords, then what he's breaking up. Um, the devil card here is interesting. So they have a fire sun, and I think we're talking about a Leo sun here. So imagine a fixed air fire, and now fixed earth, and they're square. 
they probably are square within or I bet the moon is square the sign here energy for this person and now with the devil and it's next to the six of swords <coughs> so, excuse me um, sorry I'm reading inside because uh, uh, my studio is wet you're getting a heavy range of wind that's blowing in but I mean it's pretty pleasant here I can't complain this guy's going by basically in Spanish he's selling ice cream it's Cancun Mexico I'm not gonna run out and get some because I'm not allowed but so attached to the clearance of movements and stuff there, there may have been addictions involved obsessions with the parents and it, it basically kind of irresponsible behavior um, so they, they they didn't get a firm foundation in childhood you know it's like as childhoods go I mean it wasn't awful but you know uh, it wasn't traumatic maybe uh, in a way but um, so this person would do what they can to gravitate towards this uh, uh, Taurus uh, moon. Um, and with Leo here, uh, I get the feeling this is someone, they don't want to go into the shadow stuff. And I got to tell you, I think one of the stories they're going to tell you is how they kicked the substance, maybe more than one substance, themselves, and how they got a handle on it. Boom, that's the moon square, the sun for them. And you know, they're going to tell you an experience where they had to fight. You know, they kind of had to raise themselves. Um, and they had to fight for their own integration, their own sanity in some way. They may have had help. But I think they have a history. Um, and an understanding of what addiction is from real experience. Now, in the love and relationship area uh, for our uh, Leo son, we have the lovers. Um, wow. That's got to be a Libra Venus. So, it could be a late degree Leo son and a fairly early degree. Libra, Venus. Um, this is in the love and sexual position now, the moon, Cancer, Mars. So I think we're looking at a person now with a, in their astrology, you know their natal chart. If you don't, then it's easy to find out nowadays. You just need their date and time. <laughs> Time's so important. Most of this you can get, you know, uh, moon, you never know, but usually uh, that if anything that'll be the one that's different but Taurus moon and we have a Leo sun and we have a Libra Venus and we have a Mars and Cancer person here they learn to deal with addictions they have their moon and square their sun in their, in their natal chart um, Imagine they'll have a lot of wisdom and they'll be someone that's, uh, it's probably going to be someone's heart, going to be hard to change their mind, okay, about things. Uh, and again, very traditional. So, w what they may be traditional about, whether they are male or female, is male, female, uh, traditional roles. Maybe they're kind of traditional. They like the male, female, traditional roles. That's how I would read this. Which I say because it may be kind of surprising. Like, really? <laughs> but they do. And it's just something about it. You know, um, they like holding the door open. They like the door being held open from, for them. Um, and you see this so much with the lovers here. This one, you know, the... Look, this night he's like a ghost image. And this is really expresses to me the Libra energy of Venus, the planet of love and relationship. It's kind of uh, romantic, wanting that soulmate, uh, wanting that love that maybe doesn't really exist in the real world. It's just 
a flesh and bones love, Libra. But also being very relationship oriented, being very giving in a relationship, uh, really caring about how the other person thinks and feels, particularly with a Cancer Mars. And with the Cancer Mars person, I see no reason for this to be any different. It's like their force of will and their sexuality, the way it works for them is through caring and giving. Say again, the way they exert their will and exercise their power and the way they, they want to be sexually. I think Cancer Mars is all about Cancer Mars for lovers. Um, they want to give you know, and they really want to care. And with the Cancer Mars, you know, uh, especially with the lovers, in terms of love and romance, in terms of you and your relationship, they're going to be night and day. I don't know how to read them. If you're on a date, you're getting to know them. You know, you have this fire energy here, but it's contained. I'd see them as someone being kind of charismatic, but... Uh, you know, not really a Leo, like, look at me, look at me, Leo. Um, someone kind of more grounded. You know, Leo already, it's the only fire. It's fixed. It's a little grounded, I think. Leos can be a little ground. Sagittarius, psh, grounded, goodbye. Someone cut the kite string and we're gone, you know. Um, Aries can be grounded. I mean, there can be directional, you know. Um, cardinal energy. So... This person is grounded, I think think more charming, but uh, with some presence, I think. Um, and you know, this devil energy over the five of wands, I, you know, I think this person could flirt, you know, Libra Venus, hey, I'm going to put it out there. Um, now, I don't think it would be too bad. With this Cancer Mars, it's like, a, you know, they really probably would be sensitive to their partner in terms of their sexuality. Um, you know, like they wouldn't want to hurt their feelings, you know, man or woman, they wouldn't want to hurt the partner's feelings. It would be a thing for them, an important thing for them. This is in their lifestyle and core values. Look at how robust this is, how powerful that looks. How's that feel? So what do you think they do? And they're coming in with the Empress here, it's related to that. This person is solid as fuck. Can I put that on a YouTube? I might have to give it a shot because that's a tag right there. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, what is interpretation? Well, that's solid as fuck. <laughs> yeah. If they give you a handshake, it's a done deal. You don't need it in writing. And then the Two of Pentacles. Well, this is someone that can back up their shit. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, this is someone that can take care of things that does take care of things in terms of the house and the home they're going to want it to be neat they're going to want it to be nice and they aren't going to mind paying for it it's not going to be a thing for them you know it's kind of what they do um they got to be managing some kind of business an entrepreneur uh you know, Ace of Pentacles is kind of like, I'm doing exactly what I want to do, and it's really working out well. I say, that's how I read that. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Look at me. Do I look like I give a fuck? I don't give a fuck. I'm doing exactly what it is that I want to do, Libras. <laughs> and I'm doing it well. That's what that is, and I'm doing it well. So here we have your person, you know, Taurus uh, Moon, Leo Sun, uh, Libra, Venus, and a Mars and Cancer person, and a little bit about their history, maybe how they would be. Uh, I think looking for charming and attractive, and charismatic, eh, moderately charismatic. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I don't want you to get the feel this is the Leo, you know, like, woo, woo, look at me, look at me, it's all... No, this person's like classy, yeah, male or female, not the point. Uh, and the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, so, you know, it's, um, yeah. 
I think you'll meet, meet, meet this person soon and you're going to feel it. So get back to me and let me know when you do. Might not be uh, for a week. It's a mid November read, uh, guys. So uh, thank you. And um, do uh, give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you, guys.